Combo cancelling is a very simple but effective mechanic everybody has to use because it wins games in Demon Slayer Hinokami Chronicles. This video, I will show you three ways of combo cancelling, how to do it, and tips and tricks to use it in the most effective way to almost just win every single game on ranked. I'm actually not joking, combo cancelling is that good in this game. If you like Demon Slayer Hinokami Chronicles, this channel is certainly for you, so consider subscribing as we're very close to 1k. Let's begin. Alright, so there are three ways to combo cancel in Demon Slayer Hinokami Chronicles. The jump cancel, the dash cancel, and the sidestep cancel. Let's start with the dash cancel first. So the dash cancel is used for extending combos, basically doing longer combos. So and yeah, let me demonstrate how you do it. So basically all you have to do is mash attack and then you press O basically to dash cancel and then keep pressing attack. I'll show you how to do it and look at my inputs in the PlayStation. So that's how you do a dash cancel. However, if you want to go more advanced, you can do dash cancel resets. Dash cancel resets is basically this. You attack him, but as soon as you dash, you block. Like, you know what I'm saying? That's a dash cancel reset. There's so many opportunities in doing dash cancel resets. For example, you can do a dash cancel reset to a, to a grab, like. You can do that to a grab, you can do it to a whole um, tilt. And you can even do it to a push block and then do a super armor move. There's so many opportunities. You can even do it to a super as well. So use the dash cancel reset if you want to be more advanced. It's a very, very good mechanic, but it still depletes your meter. So just keep that in mind. Now for the jump cancel, it's basically you're you're basically doing your neutral combo however you stop midway and then you jump and then you keep attacking i'll demonstrate it right now most of the time if you jump cancel into a tilted down attack it will reset but if you're very fast with the tilted down attack it won't reset let me show you how this is what you call jump cancelling into the tilted down attack very fast. It continues the combo. See, that's how you that's how you do a jump cancel, basically. It does reset sometimes, um, and if you're very quick with the with the jump, if you if you're very quick with the jump the jump cancel, you can still continue the combo. But other, otherwise, it resets in most cases. So just keep that in mind. This is used for you know what I'm saying baiting. Your opponents for resets if they're mashing for example if they're if they're getting guard pressured for example let me get my opponent to block so for example if you're applying pressure to your opponent and then and then you you jump then your opponent might start mashing and or doing a super and then you can punish their mashing by doing jump console into down tilt the jump console is using for bait in mashing punishing spamming supers it depends on the super. If it's a hard armor super, then nah, you, the jump counter cannot punish it. But otherwise, it can definitely punish supers, mashing, and all of that. It can even catch people sidestepping as well. So just use the jump cancel to your advantage. Now, the last way to combo cancel is a sidestep cancel or full step, back step cancel, whatever you want to call it. So, in order to do a sidestep cancel, all you have to do is do this. You're basically. Um, attacking your opponent you're basically attacking your opponent but you're holding o and tilting the r3 button to sidestep and then attack your opponent you're basically sidestepping as you're attacking your opponent basically attacking using pressing the attack button and then tilting o with the l3 button to sidestep and then keep attacking your opponent just like that very good you know what I'm saying, but it takes me to so keep that in option. If if you want to be fancy, I feel like this is more of if you want to be fancy and you know what I'm saying, do more resets that in which your opponent can't recover from, like actual hard resets in which you can just catch your opponent every single time without fail, then use the sidestep console. You can literally catch your opponents with these type of sidestep um with resets with the sidestep console without fail. So yeah, it's a very good mechanic, I can't lie. Oh, and I forgot to and add one thing. You can also technique cancel as well. So this is how you this this is how you technique cancel.
basically you know what i'm saying you just do like a technique and then you do the other technique literally at the same time so you just basically mass square do one technique and other technique at the same time i'll show you one again so to basically do the technique constable you basically have to do one technique and then another, another technique at the same time swift as soon as you do that one technique do the another technique at the same time don't mash that one technique to do the full technique do the other technique as soon as you press that one technique aka uh triangle basically so yeah this can also be used to extend combos and instead of just your opponent getting a hard knockdown it can be used to extend combos and you know what i'm saying give you long combos for you to have a high damage output so yeah combo counter is very 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 good and it's very very useful for my rank matches so use it to your extent use it to an advantage and i'm pretty sure everyone is going to use it eventually but yeah this will this is just a quick reminder or a quick mechanic tech that you should know to do with as well so if you guys are still even struggling with the basic controls don't worry because i made a video on a quick beginner's guide on how to play demon slay you know coming chronicles it's gonna be in the end screen here and yeah you guys i'll see you guys very soon make sure you stay blessed subscribe with notice and like the video